Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 video and guys today I'm going to be doing a video that you guys have been requesting in the comment section of some of my videos uh, You guys have seen me run this play quite a few times whether it be on pink slips in head-to-head -head seasons I'm really effective on this play So I wanted to share it with you guys and give you kind of an insight on how it works why it works and uh, Kind of you know, just give you a, a quick tutorial on exactly what you can do to utilize this play in your offense as well so, what I'm going to say is that, first of all, this play is in the New Orleans playbook. I don't think it's in any other playbooks. I could be wrong. Maybe somebody can, can correct me in the comment section below. Um, but, you know, what we're really looking at here is finding the concept. It doesn't necessarily need to be this individual play. It's just kind of the concept here. So, the play that I like to use is in, like I said, the New Orleans playbook. Let's click on formation. Then we go down to gun, and we're going to go over to the sixth uh, section of this so it's called trips y iso and then it's the very top play here the first thing that pops up smash y fade okay and you're gonna go ahead and click on that and it will bring up the uh the play and then obviously we're gonna go ahead here and just pick a random play for our defense this play works very very effectively near the goal line so what i'm gonna do here is move it right on up here to Let's put it at about the seven yard line. This is kind of the sweet spot as far as I've been able to do anyway. Um, and again, we're going to see if it works here with Golden Tate. But really what we're going to want to do is move around and get Calvin Johnson there in the slot. So here we go. First try. Yeah, so he didn't quite get the animation that we were looking for there. And it's tough, again, with these smaller receivers because they're just, they don't have that spec catch. They don't have the jumping. So let's go in here again and uh, let's reorder the depth chart real quickly here. All right, so now Calvin Johnson is at the slot, and that's really the key here. We, we're really looking to throw this pass to Calvin. So let's go ahead and see what happens here when I actually make this pass. Boom. So he got the animation. He didn't end up catching the pass there, but he got the animation that we were looking for. Let's try it one more time here. There we go. Got it that time. Okay, so again, what we're really looking to do here is just hit him right when he's making his cut, okay? So the, if you look on the route here, what he's basically going to do is he's going to run down to about the one yard line and then make his cut. And where you actually want to throw it, as far as I can tell, is about when he gets to the hash mark there, the left hash mark. So let's try doing that here. Boom. So there you go. He makes that catch. And what we're looking to do is get him to jump up in the air. And the way that I'm actually doing that is that I'm holding the X button and the up button on my left joystick. And they sent a blitz there that time. But um, again, left joystick holding up and X when I release the football holding X. So that's going to fire the ball in there really fast. And he's also going to throw it high. And that way it's really difficult for linebackers and even most safeties and and uh, frankly, most cornerbacks, except for the Seahawks, have tall cornerbacks for the most part. Uh, but it's very, very difficult for them to go up there and get the ball against a guy like Calvin Johnson because they just don't have the jumping, they don't have the height, and uh, they don't have that spec catch that he does. So it works really, really effectively for the most part. There he goes up, getting that catch again right at the goal post. And that's kind of the, the sweet spot right in there. When he makes that cut, I usually let him make the cut and then usually maybe take a step. And then I'm looking to throw the ball pretty much right after that. So that time I knew there was going to be nobody there. Held it up again and uh, just fire it in there. And most of these quarterbacks can make that pass. It's not a super difficult throw for them to make, especially from, you know, seven yards out. And again, this is kind of the sweet spot on this route. It really works against both man coverage and zone coverage for the most part. And you're not seeing any cuts here in this video other than, you know, when I changed the depth chart and things like that. I mean, this is just running it over and over and over again. This time he kind of had the, the positioning there and he was able to swat it away. But frankly, for the most part, most of the time they do not have that. So let's go in and try it one more time. Got it. Okay, so he didn't throw it up in the air, but that was an easy pass anyway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to respot the ball again. Um, and really what I want to do here, again, is uh, maybe find a deeper uh, play for us to do here. You know, move the ball back and see if it works from a little bit further out. So now, guys, I've moved the ball back about set, about five to six yards or so. 
Uh, and then we're going to see if this play will still be as effective. Now, watch where his cut is actually going to happen. And they don't always run it precisely. But it's going to be roughly at about the five-yard line. Whereas before, it was at about the one-yard line. So, I mean, it kind of, it, it might not work quite as effectively here. He might act not actually even get into the end zone when he makes his cut. It might take him to the right hash mark before he gets into the end zone. And by that time, it's actually too late. Because what we're really trying to do is catch that cornerback, that linebacker, whoever's going up against him in coverage uh, we're trying to catch them off guard and hit him right while he's making his cut so here we go let's try it one more time here so yeah he he didn't quite get the cut there because that linebacker was in the way but again for the most part this play uh it's it's not going to work every single time it's not like a 100 money play but it's very very good and there we go we got it and then he's going to be able to carry it into the end zone so one thing that i tend to like to do is actually go in here and make it a smart route. So what you get, what you're going to do if you don't know how to do that, triangle. And this is on the, the PlayStation 4. You can use the Xbox equivalent of Y or, or whatever it is. Um, and then you're going to find your receiver. So Calvin Johnson is X. And then what we're going to do is click in the R1 button. And that should make it a smart route. So now he's running this same route. But see, we're still at about the 12 to 13 yard line, somewhere in that range. But now he's actually making his cut again at about the one or two yard line. So instead of uh, us worrying about him making that cut five yards sh or short of the first down or of the uh, end zone, I should say. Now we're pretty confident that once he makes that cut, he should be into the end zone. Now they're kind of stacking up the middle of the field here. So this could be interesting. But he's kind of doing exactly what we want him to do here. So let's see what it looks like on the field. Boom, got it. And we make the throw, and he drops it. But the throw was there, um, and, and really he should have made that catch. Let's try it one more time here. Again, smart routing him so that he's trying to make his cut. This one should be there. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Yeah, that, that defense that they ran just wasn't good. So let's try it again here. All right, so now they've got a completely different defense. A lot of guys in the middle. Got coverage and should be able to make the catch. There we go. So again, it's very, very effective against almost every defense. There are times where the, the guy will line up and just make a great play, especially if it's a guy like Earl Thomas or something like that, who has great play recognition and good zone coverage and things like that. Uh, but for the most part, they have a really, really tough time making uh, a stop on this play. There we go again. Calvin into the end zone. He dropped it. But again, you, you're getting the idea here. He's making a lot. He's dropping the pass a lot, which is not like him. Uh, and a, on his ultimate team cards, especially like the the, the ultimate team card, um, the ultimate legend and the golden ticket, you shouldn't really have that kind of a problem. He should pretty much be able to catch everything for the most part. So they're sending a blitz here. And boom, we've got him. Touchdown, Calvin. Every time almost, man. It's so very, very difficult to stop this route. Uh, even from deeper out like this at, at the 10 to 12 yard line it, it works really really effectively I, I'm just a huge fan of this play and I want to say guys that I didn't come up with this play um, I didn't find it my friends Ryan 915 and I Joshify actually were the ones who showed it to me so I want to give them credit but you know if you guys aren't familiar with their channels make sure that you go over and check them out by I Joshify and of course Ryan 915 if you guys aren't subscribed to them I highly recommend it. They're extremely entertaining YouTubers, and they kind of helped me get into the YouTube scene originally as well. So I appreciate all the support that they gave me off the bat, and I hope that you guys will uh, go ahead and support them as well. And boom. So right there, he was kind of getting a weird animation. I just waited for him to break off of that cornerback. Since they weren't sending any pressure, uh, I was able to just stand in the pocket and make the throw. It's just, it's easy for the most part. Now, you guys are probably asking what happens if somebody users this. Well, uh, the reality is that this is one of the most difficult routes in the game to user because your linebacker or your safety or whoever that you end up usering tends to not get that jumping animation. So even if you're right on top of them, they almost still never make that the actual play on the ball. You might be able to swat it away possibly some of the time. You might be able to get up there and jam them and, and cause problems like that. But for the most part, it's it's really, really, really difficult to actually stop this with your users. And it's even more difficult if you don't user it because for the most part, the computer has absolutely no idea how to stop this route. And again, I, I'm just going to keep running it over and over and over again. Oh, look at that one-handed grab there by Calvin. Now, you guys might be wondering what happens if you switch it to the other side of the field. 
So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's flip it to the opposite side here. Um, and then obviously we've got Golden Tate in the slot again here. So I'm gonna have to make a, uh, an adjustment and make it so that Calvin is in, in that slot one more time. And again, we really wanna have these six foot four, six foot five receivers. Some of these shorter guys, they can do it, but it's not quite as effective. Ten it tends to not be, I should say. So yeah, so Calvin would have grabbed that. And as you can see, it just went right over Golden Tate's head. So let's go in and swap him out real quick. All right, so now we've got Calvin Johnson in the slot again same type of situation put him at a uh, another post route smart route it if we can to try and get him down there and make that cut at about the one or so yard line and yeah this is going to be easy look at that catch see that's what we're looking for those shorter receivers do not make that type of a jump and that's the animation that we want because if he gets that animation you pretty much can't contact him in the air and so it's very difficult it, it tends to be very difficult for them to actually be able to knock the ball away so let's try it again here, guys, from the right side. Calvin Johnson again. Going to smart route him. And boom, got him. Matt Stafford fires it in there. Easy pass. Most of your mutt quarterbacks should be able to make that pass very, very easily for the most part. Okay, guys, now I'm going to show you how this works as a two-point conversion play. So at the two-yard line, and of course, this would work if you're just at the two-yard line on offense. Now, as you can see here, we've got Calvin Johnson in the slot on the right side running the route that we're looking for, to throw to. And um, the, the truth is here is that he's probably going to make a too deep of a cut for him to make a good spec catch sometimes. So let's see what it looks like here on the field. Yeah, so he is going to make the catch there. Um, but still, as you can see, it was kind of toward the back of the end zone there. And that's not really what we're looking for. What we want is for him to make that catch kind of in the middle of the end zone, if not at the front of the end zone. Okay, so let's try it again here from the left side and see if we can uh, make that same pass like we did before without it making any adjustments to this route. So Calvin's getting bumped there, and that's actually probably the most effective way to stop this, especially when you're close to the goal line, because it kind of throws everything off. Let's try it one more time here. No jam this time, and he is going to make the catch, but again, at the back of the end zone. Sometimes that doesn't quite work out how we want it to, especially if you're at like the one yard line, it'll be even closer to the back of the end zone. Now, another thing that you can do here at the goal line, if you're, if you're kind of too close, you think, and maybe you're not going to be able to get in, uh, what you can actually do is just click on Calvin and audible him, him into a slant route. So right on your right joystick. And that should send him into a sl into just a standard slant. And essentially what's going to happen is he's still going to get that cut. And hopefully your linebackers and safeties are not going to step up in front of it to make the play here. But let's see what happens on the field. So yeah, they sent guys there, but Calvin is just too much of a beast. You throw it up. Again, holding left up, uh, uh, the left joystick straight up and holding the X button to throw kind of a, a bullet pass. And he's going to throw it high up and a bullet pass every time. And it's going to be very difficult for the cornerbacks and the safeties and the linebackers to make adjustments on the ball. One more time here. Yeah, they blitz there. That one's really easy. Anytime they blitz, this play is pretty much a guaranteed touchdown. If they send more than uh, two linebackers on a blitz, as long as they don't get through instantly, you should pretty much be able to score. And again, I'm setting Calvin on a slant route here because we're so close to the end zone. Just a standard slant. Anybody can do it at any point on the field really but it works best at the goal line so here we go one more time they sent another blitz calvin's got him and let's see what happens one more time here hopefully they don't send a blitz again all right no blitz this time and still calvin's there to make the catch so again really what you're looking to do is just wait till he's kind of close to the middle of the field and then throw it up in the air it really doesn't take any skill as far as you don't have to use your receiver and you really don't have to make a read so it, it, this is a very, 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 very effective play. Um, it's something that I guess you could say it's kind of a broken thing in the game. But the truth is, is that I consider this to be less broken than a streak pass in the game. Just because, I mean, in real life, Calvin Johnson can actually do this. <laughs> you know, you pretty much uh, send him up in a single coverage of any kind and throw the ball up in the air. For the most part, he's going to be able to come down with it. So I don't have as much of a problem with this play as I do a lot of other ones that are kind of broken in this game. But uh, I hope you guys are understanding kind of why I like to run this play and why it works so well against most defenses. One more time here for good measure. And got him. Oh, he dropped it. All right. Finally, we're going to do it one more time just because I don't want to go out on him dropping a pass. All right, here we go. One more time, Calvin. Let's do it. 
in coverage got him touchdown calvin johnson so there you go guys hopefully that explains it if you have any questions i'd be glad to answer them in the comment section below be sure to hit that like button and of course subscribe to this channel if this video was helpful for you uh, i i'm not gonna be able to bring you guys a ton of gameplay videos like this with suggestions and things because i'm just not that great at this game but stuff like this where um it works really effectively for me i'd be glad to share it with you guys hopefully you don't use it against me on pink slips but if you do you know i can't really complain too much Good luck, everybody, with trying to run this play yourselves. And again, like I said, if you have any comments or questions, I would be glad to answer those in the comment section below on YouTube. So thank you, guys. Good luck, and I'll talk to you again soon.